Um, good morning, class. So, I hope you are in safe um, situation right now uh, amidst of this um, crisis that we are facing. But uh, we cannot do otherwise, but we have to move on for this and continue uh, living because uh, we, don't, we, we don't have any other choice. Instead, um, um, let us just keep our our family and especially ourselves safe and healthy for this situation. So, in our class, um, um, I'll be discussing here um, plant behaviors and after this presentation, um, there are questions that I'm going to ask. What you are going to, what you are to do is, uh, you are to put your answers through our messenger, and uh, we'll be waiting the uh, your responses until the actually until this three o'clock this afternoon, if it is uh, uh, the ample time that we can be able to to use it okay the, the enough time that I can be able to um, consider for your uh, answers and perhaps some internet connectivity so the topic that I'll be discussing is about plant behaviors um, so the key questions that we are going to ask or the essential questions that we're going to to have this morning is on we're going to um, to know how how do plants adapt to environmental conditions and why do plants adapt to environmental conditions mm, especially uh, to, uh, now uh, that we are resulting to planting vegetables and root crops because of the scarcity of the basic needs or limited time in going to the market so actually the farmers they are benefiting from the from this crisis because if you just uh, industry if you are just uh, industrious enough you can be able to survive in your own because of planting uh, different crops that will be able to be used as uh, food um, sources and we'll be discussing also um, the concept of dormancy uh, we are to define what is dormancy and last time we talked also about tropism so we are we are going to go into deep of this and uh, how to enhance the survival of plants and how is these factors affecting the survival of plants in the environment so one of the topics here is about um, what makes uh, what makes the plant adapt in a certain conditions uh, in order to survive. So the key thing here is for survival of the plant, which is also related to their behavior. So let's start. Um, Okay, so uh, plants um, continue to evolve for thousands of years and um, I'm going to relate here about the coronavirus. Why is it that it's very hard to control the virus in the sense that as it um, affects one individual to another individual, it needs to adapt to the host and then try to the term there is mutate actually different from evolution evolution is something to do with uh, changing from its uh, own origin while mutation is changing the genetic material of the, um, the 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 organism that's the reason why in coronavirus there are several strains of that we have the h1n1 h2n2 uh, actually depending on the protein coating of the material that's the reason why um, 
the adaptation of the individual to the virus depends on immunity of the individual to to adapt on the virus so actually um, this is only my personal assumptions that uh, if we cannot contain this virus all we have to do is to adapt on it and then try to develop immunity on it in order to tolerate its um, uh, what you call this um, its presence in our environment because there i think there is no uh, other way to extract the virus because i think it's still spreading and most of the viruses that we are we, we know is are they are airborne so i think you will be needing a miracle for that to in order to extract that from the atmosphere and then they are effect affecting already the um, organisms and depending on the condition of the organism and they try to mutate so the plants here as uh, from 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 the evolution of the plants um, they were able to change their structure all throughout uh, the years or era such that they have to adapt on a certain climatic conditions of the earth but the main goal of the plants in their evolution is they are try to uh, have the evolution in order to uh, add to survive um, to take all the necessary nutrients like uh, sunlight and water and um, the main goal there is for survival okay so okay so we'll be talking about stimuli here actually we discussed this last time about what's the meaning of stimulus so it is any environmental uh, changes that may cause the organism to react physically or internally actually stimulus depends on the, the meaning of stimulus depends on the ability of the organism to react from environmental changes um, actually we can be able to expound that not only physically but also emotionally mentally uh, aspects of the organism but uh, in for our for the sake of our discussion we'll just only stick it into the to the um, uh, what you call this uh, physical attraction of or stimulus of the um, stimuli of the plants uh, we cannot compare compare plants to animals because animals can be able to be affected by an environmental conditions however um, what they call this uh, plants are mostly affected by external stimuli uh, so uh, we we have talked this on last time that uh, you cannot determine if the plants could develop in an ulcer or a hunger for food because it cannot claim more it cannot it cannot show pain okay but there are some external stimuli that enable the plants to react and some of these are listed on your screen it's the temperature sunlight um, touch uh, from chemicals also from gravity and water actually we we discussed this last time so we are just going to go go deeper on that okay so another th thing that we are going to tackle here is about um, dormancy um, so dormancy here is similar to hibernation as compared to plants um, so dormancy has something to do with uh, storing the potential of the plants to be reserved for a condition that is already favorable for it to grow or waiting for the right time for the plants to grow um, so the main goal here for dormancy is uh, reserving reservation of the plant for uh, the right timing for it to grow 
Actually, I, there are two kinds of dormancy in plants. We have the induced and the so-called um, natural. In, when we speak of induced, it is the uh, it's an external um, effort given to the plants uh, to have a dormancy, like uh, keeping uh, keeping. Uh, I'll give a specific example: keeping the palay. Uh, to acquire moisture and keeping it dry and then try to store that in a barn for a quiet period of time to wait for the plant to be planted or for the rice to be planted. That is induced dormancy. Uh, when we speak of natural dormancy, it has something to do with uh, um, the natural way of the plant to wait for the proper time for it to grow. So in the next slide that we'll try to show you, Example here is the flowering of plants in the winter, but we don't have winter in the Philippines. It has something to do with the climatic conditions that the plants try to adjust and try to wait for the right time before a particular climate ends. Um, and then try to uh, exhibit the growth when the favorable conditions already um, is um, appropriate for them to grow. So example here that we, that, that's been shown is about the flowering in the winter. So they, if the winter ends, the flower continues, but it doesn't mean that the plants is dying or the plants are dying for that condition, okay? Now, another th thing here is about tropism. So we have negative tropism and, neg and positive tropism. So it has something to do with how the the way the plants respond to external stimuli. So we are trying to differentiate why are there are positive and negative tropisms. So positive means plant responses toward the external stimulus, while negative tropisms are responding responding against the external stimulus. So that's opposite on me. Okay. So I'll give an example. Actually, we discussed this already. Um, it's an advantage for the plant because the plants here tend to adjust in order for the plant to have a, a healthy well-being. Okay, so one example for here, this is we have um, okay, we have the um, Phototropism or heliotropism, the hydrotropism, the geotropism, gravitotropism, thigmotropism, and thermotropism. So uh, we have to hurry up with this one because I don't want you to stay longer on the um, the data use. Um, phototropism is on about the sunlight, and the tendency of the plant here is to grow in the direction toward the sunlight. That is positive. But I think there is no gut negative uh, phototropism wherein the plants have to uh, direct its parts uh, away from the sun. I think the negative, uh, the, the, the worst effect of too much sunlight is wilting for the plants. But in the, in the way wherein plants had to direct against the sunlight, there is no such thing as that. So mostly it's positive phototropism or positive tropism. So um, we discussed already that um, light is essential for the plants in order to make their food. So the, t the tendency for the, for the plants is to move towards the sunlight. So it, mostly it's, it's positive tropism. Okay. Another way here is, another one here is about uh, hydrotrophism um, responding to water uh, need by the plants. So it, has, it is exhibited by the extension of the roots towards the source of water. So the elongation of the roots uh, to be able to reach on the supply of water is a positive tropism. Um, there again, it's a positive tropism. It has no negative because there is no such thing as uh, a behavior of the plant that's avoiding the water. 
actually even cactus uh, there is no such thing as um, negative hydrotrophism if you water the cactus there is no such thing for the cactus to avoid it rather uh, the tendency of the cactus is to die um, if you put too much water on it so mostly that the response of plants on the water is positive or towards on it not avoiding it usually Another one here is uh, gravitopism and geotropism. So they are just both the same. So the, um, the, the response of the plants against gravity. Uh, but this time, uh, we have uh, two kinds of tropism here. It's either positive and negative. Uh, when the plants is responding upward, that is positive. While if it is uh, going downward, it is negative. Um, but last time we discussed this last time as if it is against the gravity, it is negative, diba? While if it is responding towards the gravity, it should be positive. Actually, um, responding to the to the pull of gravity it should be positive and uh, responding against gravity is should be negative because um, it's go against the pull of the gravity um, this is stigmotropism and um, um, it's the response of the plant against thoughts and uh, one example for this is that one in on that uh, page is uh, the venus flytrap um, actually the stigmotropism is a defense mechanism or behavior of the plants against uh, predators or some animals. Um, it exhibited tegmotropism because it's either uh, in order to protect itself from being touched, it usually traps the insects. So, Makahia is an example that in order for it to, um, to prevent from too much being touched, it closes its leaves. Blenerous fry trap is it's a, a kind of defense from from other predator. That's why it it's act as a negative tropism because it um, it withdraws from from the other um, influences of the other animals. Okay, we have the thermotropism here. It's a it's a plant's response to temperature, uh, but I have inserted here a video on on uh, the effect of the Venus flytrap, how it responds to the fly. So maybe you can watch that. Uh, but uh, I don't know if it is playable here. Uh, actually, it's playable. Uh, that one. Okay, so um, we have to analyze with that. Okay, so all in all, um, I have to emphasize the important points here. The tropisms and dermances are evolution of plant meant to enhance survival. So it's either to prevent them from from use their potential against and favorable conditions or preserving their their uh, what I call the safety against external um, stimuli or predators that could hamper their growth so that's those are the two behaviors or evolutions of plant that uh, enhance their survival Another one is um, the, we emphasize also the external stimuli. Uh, what's the meaning of dormancy, and of course, what is the what is the meaning of positive and negative tropism? So I'm going to end this video, and the rest of the uh, the what they call this uh, interactions, I'll be posting that in our group chat and. Perhaps you can talk it over there, interact. How we can do with? Uh, how can how can we do with your presentation? 
um, because we um, we don't have the chance to meet each other. So once again, good morning and be safe and uh, keep regards to your family.